Ahoy, my brothers, Avi here. Today, the frightful tale of a terrifying creature that once lived right here in Helena, Montana. Welcome to... Today, I'd like to tell you the story of... Mucrosphere for Mucronatus. Mucrosphere for Mucronatus was a nine tentacle winged brachiod that could fire ink from its nostrils and solidify ice into water. Wait a minute. Water into ice. And with its three beaks it could... Hey, wait a minute. None of that's right. You're just making stuff up. Fine. Now, let me see that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Mucrosphere for Mucronatus didn't have tentacles, wings, nostrils, beaks, not to mention that silly, silly business with the water. In fact, the only thing that was right in that entire sentence is that Mucrosphere for Mucronatus was a brachiopod. Brachiopods being a group of organisms resembling clams, but not closely related. They are noted for their vertical axis of symmetry, as opposed to clams, which have a horizontal axis of symmetry. They are also more famously noted for their muscular stalk-like appendage that they use to adhere themselves to the seafloor sediments. Known as a pedicle also referred to as an arm or foot. This appendage is literally where the name brachiopod comes from, translating from the ancient Greek, please forgive my pronunciation, brachion, meaning arm, and pus, or pados, meaning foot, so arm foot. You can see how it might have come about. Brachion pus, brachion podos, brachiopods, brachiopods. At least it makes sense to me. And finally, they are noted for the fact that they first appeared in the fossil record in the early Cambrian about 600 million years ago. But some scientists believe they were probably alive earlier than that as well. And went nearly extinct at the end of the Paleozoic. Now you're probably wondering... Nearly extinct? How can you be nearly extinct? Well, you see, out of the 30,000 brachiopods that have been discovered, only around 385 are alive today. So you see, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly extinct. There's a big difference between mostly extinct and all dead. But enough of that talk of the broader brachiopod. We're here to talk about specifically Mucrosphere from Mucronatus. So first of all, let's get one thing clear. Mucrosphere from Mucronatus was no monster, unless you happen to be a fine particle floating along the ocean floor that is. Mucrosphere from Mucronatus was a filter feeder and was only about 2.5 centimeters across, with larger specimens being as much as 4 centimeters across. What's that? Arg! 4 centimeters across! That'd be most inaccurate! I seen Macrosphere from Mucronatus four miles wide swallow a whole legion of brigantines, and I only made it out because... No, you haven't! You're just an apocryphal sea captain! Uh, now go away! Our young'uns... <laughs> As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted... Arr. Mucrosphere from Mucronatus only usually get between 2.5 and 4 centimeters across. Which is about the size of a quarter, with bigger ones being about the size of a golf ball. So definitely no monster, but still interesting. When talking classification, Mucrosphere from Mucronatus is in the class of brachiopods known as Articulata, all of which have an articulated hinge, and is a member of the order Spiriferata, notable for their long hinge line, which is often the widest part of their shell. <laughs> the 
These hardy organisms, who first appeared in the Ordovician period, which spans from 485.4 to 443.8 million years ago, later thrived in the Devonian, eventually becoming one of the selected few brachiopods to survive the previously mentioned Permian extinction at the end of the Paleozoic era. After that, later still, they kept on surviving, all the way into the Jurassic period. So, with that said, I believe all those factors put together makes Mucrosphere for Mucronatus quite the amazing creature, and I hope you enjoyed learning about them today. Thank you so much for watching Paleontology Across the U.S. You can find more information about what we talked about today, as well as our sources, in the description. enjoyed this video, I suggest ye ponder the following. The number you have dialed has been changed. Has been changed. Changed. Changed.